they didn't mess with any of our sets. someone parked in the spot, I turn around and get out of there and let them, I don't want to mess up their home. Shock nothing's messed with this bait yet. down there's a moose rib cage and it hadn't been there up until about a week and a half ago them wolves must have drug it down we seen birds up top here so they must have killed it up in there and drug it down but wolves are straight up killers that's for sure so eddie found some uh wolf crap from another area another pack so he picked it up the other day and uh i'm gonna put it here by this set so no fresh sign right now but so, so far these guys haven't got out and messed with any of our sets must be them home homeowners down there huh that old boy that had the Take a lick, yeah. lick your fingers. Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow, I can smell that over here. <laughs> well, we're gonna pull up to our next set. I think we might have a bobcat up here. So we'll see. This is where I set up them three snares for that cat that was hitting that roadkill deer. <clears throat> for some reason, them cats just haven't really hit these baits, this pork and beef. Nope. They'll hit them deer, them roadkill deer, but they just seem to walk by this pork and beef. <laughs> Got a cat, Peach. Yep. 
Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Got a cat. Looks like a good one. Remember this set here? Yeah, I told you that little twig right there would hold that cat. It's a nice cat. Oh, he knocked this other snare down. Perfect. Yeah, he should sure wrap that up. It's just 14 gauge wire on a 16th snare. Oh, perfect. I'll get them unwrapped down to the machines. Yeah, we had a pretty good feeling we'd catch this cat. See, it don't don't take much at all to choke these cats out. They uh, choke out pretty quick. Like I said, there's guys who will double and triple wrap their wire and stuff and use more than needed. Bobber. Yep. Beginning to think we didn't know what we were doing. <laughs> it's been a slow season. But yeah, that's that's a learning curve though, you know. We uh hammered the cats there at the end of the season last year and but all we were using was elk and deer scraps from one of our local wild game butchers, but he isn't doing that no more, so we uh Eddie started getting bait from a, another guy we know that does pork and beef. The dogs seem to like that, but these cats don't seem to go near it. Good deal. Yep, got to wait till deer here and he comes into it. Well, we'll get down to the machines. I'll leave that other snare right there. I don't know if I'll set any more up. What do you think? Mm. Something's been eating that. Yeah, I'm shocked nothing's come and got this cat. But looks like he chewed on the snare a little bit. Well, right on, we'll go check some more sets. Oh, maybe. My dad's. Yeah. My dad's. Well, as I was saying, riding up here, these mitts right here, these army mitts, I guess they are. These things are super nice. They're the hunting mitts. I don't know if I added that clip in or not. If not, I'll add it in. Look, these are for hunting. 
you see a big buck, go to get your gun, you just... Tub of bait, bobber. It's got lure, wolf piss, and stuff that's full of snares. All that discoloration, that red color there, is from the rust on them traps, huh? Yeah, get a bit rusty, but it doesn't seem to bother them wolves any. One thing Eddie was telling me on the way up here is uh, we're not supposed to trap over 3,500 feet. Um, which I knew that our tribe had reintroduced lynx this last year, didn't they? And uh, what'd they do, 10 or 11? They want to do 10 a year, I think. 10 a year? Yeah, they dropped 10 or 11 this last past, within the past year. But uh, they don't want us trapping over 3,500 feet. They put them links up high, which they'll come down low eventually. But so nothing over 3,500 feet in elevation. Stinks. 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 Pudding. <laughs> As old Paul Montana Wolf Trapper calls it, uh, what is it, canine pudding? Wolf pudding? And uh, anyway, shout out to Paul. He uh, sent over six or eight traps, wolf traps. He's given me, I got to rig them out and stuff. Uh, they're at his buddy Scott Ramsey's house here in Washington. I need to make it over there and pick them up. I was going to try and make it there a whole week or so ago, but Scott was gone, so... Anyhow, I need to get over there and pick up them wolf traps. So, shout out to Paul. Thanks again. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we got something in these next sets. So, we're going to go check these, this next bait, bait station. So, stay tuned. All well, the birds are on the bait. I just filled it in the snow. Hey, that's a big boy. You see really good right over here, though. I'd like to catch him, that's for dang sure. Yeah. Yeah, them old Bridger number nines, they're pretty, pretty big. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Peach ordered two number nines, Bridger nines, and things are behemoth traps. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> saw the dang trap out there, freaking boat anchor. Yeah. So, quick little back history. Peach used to take me hunting when I was a kid for uh, mountain lions. He used to run dogs. Heck, ever since you were a kid, huh? Twenty-two years. Kind of dangerous to run hounds nowadays with all these dang wolves. You'll be getting your dogs killed. Yep. There's so many yep. dead. Quite a few times over the years. Yeah. Yeah, about every drainage peach is always oh caught a lion up there, caught a lion over there. <laughs> He's caught quite a few quite a few cats in his day. Yep. Especially when you're old as dirt. Yep. <laughs> 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 
Size boot, you wear peach. Nine. Nine? Nine. That's a big dog. That is a very big dog. A draft dog. <laughs> yep. Part draft horse. Yep. He's a big one. Yeah, on the way up here, Peach was showing me a couple lions that walked by his camera we had over on our east line. I'll have to get the video from him and add into this. But, yeah, pretty nice. A couple of nice lions. Two adult lions walked right by the camera. And one bobcat walked right by the trap. <laughs> <laughs> walked right by the dang trap. Yep. But it was set up for wolves anyhow. Well, we'll cruise down here and check these snares. <clears throat> Wolves ain't back yet. Maybe within the next week or so. They've been back the last two or three times. Uh, we check every 72 hours. That's our time frame. Our uh, regulations. And uh, the last, I think, three times the wolves have been back in here. Be going for another week or two now. Hopefully, they come back before our season ends. Calling wolf traps. Well, that snare's knocked down. Yeah. Whatever it is, keeps coming back and knocking one or two snares down. We'll get it set back up. Down yeah. again.
got, brother? Snared cougar. Peach got his first cougar. Well, first snared cougar anyway. <laughs> Hell yeah. Heck yeah, brother. That is cool. That's a big cat. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Heck yeah. Pretty cool. Man, nothing's been hitting this bait at all. No, it's been a while. Man, I started hitting it when I when I first put it up. Man, heck yeah, brother, that's awesome. Somebody's gonna take one of these roadkill deer up top where the bobcat's been running. I said, oh, I better go check your snares. He goes, oh, I can see them all from right here. <laughs> he looked over, oh shit, I got a cougar. <laughs> that is freaking awesome. Heck yeah, that is a good day, bobcat. Well, we'll get this cat out here and we'll get some good photos out by the sleds. And cool, huh? That is way cool. Hang on, hold it right there. Look at me, Peach. Take some, take some pictures off of this. Yeah, okay. That is freaking awesome, man. He's wondering when he's gonna catch a cougar. Yeah, he just got footage of him here a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I'll add that. Uh, I'll add that uh, video off the trail camera in with this. Yep, there was two of them. Pretty nice cats too, both of them. That is awesome. Yep, pretty cool. <laughs> and now, those of you wondering, it is legal for us to snare cougars. It ends March 31st for us. Um, then actually, we can hunt cats down here all year round. Year round, we can hunt them, but. Uh, as for trapping and snaring, we can trap and snare mountain lion, but it ends March 31st. Wolves is the only thing that ends February 28th. The rest of it goes till March 31st. And then I want to say coyotes and raccoons go till April 15th, but they ain't worth nothing anyway. But we're shed hunting by then. Congratulations, man. That is freaking awesome. Cool. <laughs> Well, I got a big kitty, or little kitty, and Eddie got a big one. Yeah, awesome. I don't like them cougars. I like the <laughs> I like the bobcats. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna get this cat out of here and uh, go make a bait station up top. So in this clip, you'll see the first cat barely. You'll see the tail go by, and then the second cat here is a uh, male that we just snared. Right there, that's him. That was just up the hill. As you guys can see, there isn't much struggle with this cat. Um, he did try to, he clawed up some of these trees here. But uh, even these mountain lions, they choke out quick. That is a 332nd snare. But yeah, you can see there's not much for struggle here at all. That is awesome. freaking <laughs> awesome, man. Heck yeah. Man, that is so cool. Well, we'll get this cat drug out of here. We're gonna grab one of these roadkill. Take up top, maybe we'll catch another one. There's another big lion, about the same size as this one, running with it. Yep. And, and across the valley over there where we've been checking, there's a big tom over there. Yeah, that one's a behemoth. Save some deer right here. Oh, yeah. Deer week. <laughs> well, Pete's got him a big old lion. We'll have to put a tape on it once we get back to the truck. Pretty cool. It's a first for both of us to 
lion getting a snare. I know there's been a couple others around here that's gotten them, but very cool. Yep. Yep, very cool. Right up the road here, half a mile. I had footage, I'm sure, of this cat and another one just like it. They come by one of our traps. And uh, <clears throat> I was hoping it'd be nice to have them come check out one of the baits. And finally, sure enough, they did. But it's been, well, I guess it was about a week ago they were through here. A week and a half ago. Maybe a couple weeks ago. It's been super slow this season with everything. You know, coyotes, what do we, we've got three or four or five coyotes. Yep. A couple bobcats now, and then this lion, but it's been a tough season, that's for dang sure. But this right here made it all worth it. Right behind us here, I have a foothold, and I had a wolf in there on Christmas Day, and it had got out. So I was hoping they'd come back, but they haven't really been back since. Yeah, so they must have. Just some couple up there, up top on the switchbacks come through, but. That big pack hasn't been back through. No, then they've killed three deer right in this little vicinity here within about a, three weeks, maybe not even that, because I was finding their kills right off when I first started coming in here this winter. So. Another deer killer down. Yep. Got to uh, be saving some deer, that's for sure. These cats, man, they're hell on whitetail. Anything, mule deer, elk, um, definitely awesome. Yeah, it's a nice, nice, healthy cat. Yeah, that cat, I, that lion I shot a couple summers ago on Father's Day, that thing was super skinny. He must have been not getting the nutrients he needed because there's a lot of wolves in that country where I got that lion, but very cool. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, we'll get a tape on him and I'll, uh, Add it into the video how long it is. What do you think? Seven? Yeah, he's six and a half, seven. Six and a half, seven. Yep. Good lion. Young lion, but he's healthy one. Yeah. Healthy one. Female, isn't it? For sure. No male. So. Nice young Tom. Good deal. Well, we're going to get up and make one more bait station before it gets dark. Hopefully, we'll catch some cats up top, bobcats we're going to go after. So, that are the wolves. Yep. Got a few weeks left. Got to try and catch something else. Yep. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you uh, probably on the next one. That's what them lions are after in here. That's what we're trying to protect. Pretty cool to be helping out, that's for sure. We don't hate predators, but they do need to be managed. Well, I better get up there and catch up to Peach. Well, it's dang near dark. We uh, brought one of these roadkill deer up here. <laughs> that's one thing I like about you know our rules. We can use uh, animals, stuff like that. A dozen cat snares around this. There's a lot of bobcats up in here, but. Uh, all the way around I got uh, cat snares I'll show you guys in the daylight a bit better peach took oh half a dozen or eight snares and went and set up out further for wolves you know, I'm not too worried about birds getting in here they probably won't even see that deer in there but um, when it's thick like this and birds don't mess with it So I'm not too worried about that. Um, yeah here's a some Pretty good sign right up in here. There's a pee post right here, too <clears throat> Actually right there It's a pee post So we'll probably uh Hang some more snares around here eventually. It is lying in there. The old tomahawk. Got a little warm and take off that my trapping hoodie that Kelsey and the kids got me. I love that thing. That thing's so super warm. 
course, back in on Renee 308. Got Peach the snowman coming on his snowshoes. Snow's a little deep up here yet. Well, what'd you think, brother? Yeah. He's been traveling up here. Yeah, these wolves have been hanging up high. So, we hadn't been sitting up here. There was a big snow slide beginning of the year coming up, so I didn't come up here at all earlier. Yeah, it was pretty impassable until it melted some, so. Couldn't, couldn't really make it up here, but right up the road here, we caught, what, how many cats off that one bait station? Two or three. Yeah. He caught that one in that leg hold, that wolf trap, and I think I snared the big tom. It's pretty productive up here on top. These cats running up high. Well, all these predators, actually. Good deal. We're going to get out of here. And he's gonna go cuddle his cougar. Go cuddle her. Go cuddle her. She won't growl at you. <laughs> and the other one might growl at you. <laughs> well, thank you folks for watching. Wish you good health and happiness as always. We appreciate it. Today was an epic check for us. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. As always, the first for everything. I've never caught a lion with a snare or trap. That one came close, that big lion across the river there came pretty close to one of our bait stations, but didn't commit. Of course it had pork and beef and these cats just don't seem to like it. Dogs will clean it up though. Yep. But we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Well, two cat day. Had a two cat day before, but not like this. Yep. Haven't had those since I had hounds. Those kind of days. Yeah, for sure. Old Chief Cohen got him a cougar. Yep. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Yep. Threw them on Eddie's uh, snowmobile cover so they weren't sticking to the flatbed. Yeah, sure missing his Tacoma. Yeah, tell your brother Cody to get her back <laughs> so I have my heated seat. <laughs> and Eddie's, Eddie's Dodge. Dodge don't have heated seats. <laughs> Pretty good though. Pretty good day. Yes, sir. Yep. Can't beat that. Nope. Makes it makes a whole season right there. Yeah. That is cool. Couple weeks left. Hope we can get it. Couple more critters caught. Yep. Yeah, I'd say it's probably six, six and a half footer. Yeah. Yep. Nice young Tom. Yep. Good deal. Well, we're going to get out of here. Thanks for watching. Wish you guys good health and happiness. That's all that matters in this world. Ain't no amount of money in this world can buy happiness or good health. So, over and out.